Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to shoot a quick video this morning and talk to you about two things. We're going to talk about the thrust on a VW uh, main bearing and I'm going to show you how to cut the bearing to fit the thrust. Alright, let me get my little pointer here. Alright, now we're discussing the thrust on a VW. We're talking about from here to here. Yeah, from here to here. That is going to be the thrust on your Volkswagen block. Now, the standard thrust on a Volkswagen is 22 millimeters. Yeah, 22 millimeters, I think. So, when you order bearings, <clears throat> you can order on three different ways that I'm aware of. Uh, you can order as standard, which would be zero on the thrust. You can order it uh, 40 thousandths on the thrust and 80 thousandths on the thrust. Now, this block wasn't cut to 40 thousandths it was cut to 20 thousandths. So, you have to have the bearing cut in order to fit this block. Now, a lot of machine shops, they'll do that uh, to save the block. From You can only cut it twice if you went with 40 thousandths and 80 thousandths. And if you've got one cut to 80 thousandths, uh, you know, I would just throw the block away, get another one. But uh, 40 thousandths is okay. But they do that to save the block. So they only cut this one a half a millimeter, because a millimeter is 40 thousandths of an inch, roughly. So, anyway, what we have to do is we have to cut the uh, bearing to fit. And I'm going to show you um, okay this is a standard bearing and you can see that both of these sides are equal they're very close to each other I think they're equal length equal size anyway the distance between here and here is 22 millimeters now, well, this bearing's already been cut, but you can see on this one, see how much thicker this side is than this side? This is an old, uh, wait a minute. Oh, this is my good bearing. This is the one I just cut. So, mine is actually cut only a half a millimeter, which makes the thrust here, I'm trying to get in the light, Try to do this, let's see. It should be like 21.5. Yep. 21.5. That's what it is. They cut at 20 thousandths. So, what you have to do, you have to order a bearing for 40 thousandths. And it's going to make this distance between this distance uh, 21 millimeters, roughly 21 millimeters. So what we need to do is cut away some of this in order to make that bearing fit. And I'll show you this bearing. Like I said, this bearing has already been cut. And I'll put this in right and you want it to be snug. It needs to, you need to feel it kind of push down in there and lock into place. Do that. Let's see. Needs to be a little bit tough to pull out. That's perfect. All right, now how we do this, 
Now you could do this with a circle cut jig on a router, which is how I do it. Here's my router. Here's the circle cut jig. I don't know if you can see that, the numbers on it. But that's the circle cut jig for a router. You don't have to use a router. You could use a hole saw. But basically what you want to do is cut out two pieces of plastic the same size as the bearing. And see what you're going to do here? You're going to sandwich the bearing between these two pieces of plastic. Run your bolt through there. Making sure that the thick part is on the bottom. This is an acrylic. This is what this is. It's what I had laying around. Yeah, I mean, you could probably use anything. This is a good stiff plastic. It's hard. This is what I use. Like I said, I already had it laying around, so that's what I use. All right, next thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need, you know, you might could do this with a hand drill and two people doing it, but I, I probably wouldn't. Uh, what you, I would use a drill press if you got access to a drill press. And basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna stick it in there. Lock it down. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I don't know if I can. And just kind of snug it up in there. Don't go so tight that you're gonna uh, mess the uh, threads up because you gotta get it back off. Let's see, yeah, that's spinning pretty good. A little bit of wobble in it. Yeah, it's a little bit of wobble in it. Uh, but yeah, you can work with the piece of plastic, kind of move it, kind of see if you can get it centered in the, uh, see if you can get it centered in the drill press a little bit better, get some of that wobble out of it. But for demonstration purposes, uh, this will be fun. All we're gonna do, once you got it locked in, We'll take a flathead screwdriver. This is an old flathead. Look, this is a Walmart special. Nothing special about this screwdriver. It's better if you got two people when you do this. But you just basically you're gonna get down on it and just drag it on that edge right there. See the metal being cut away? Try to get it as flat as possible when you do that now. Get that screwdriver on there as flat as you can. But that's all you want to do. Just keep you going know, just... It doesn't take much because uh, you're only cutting away. You're not even going to cut away a half a millimeter. You're going to cut away maybe, I, I don't know, ten thousandths or so. Maybe fifteen thousandths of an inch, something like that. I know I'm going back and forth between millimeters. Just say a quarter of a millimeter then. Let's see, I'll show you what, uh, show you what this one's cut to. You want it to be snug, so don't take it all the way. If you take it all the way to the same size as the block, then it's gonna fit in there a little too loose. And I'm trying to see if I can get this where, uh, yeah, let me just set it in there. I can get it in the water. <laughs> we'll see uh, what I got it. Hang on, let me zero this thing out. I think these batteries are going dead. Let's see what we got here. All right, 21.35. 21.35, see I didn't go all the way to 21.5. 21.35, that's what I went to. And that's gonna make it really snug. Like I said, you don't want it so tight that you gotta jam it in there. It just needs to, you, you, you'll know, it'll be really snug and you can push it down, you feel it kind of locking into place, you'll know that you got it right. Just be careful, take a little bit at a time until uh, you get it fitting. 
and uh, should be good to go. Um, I, I just thought I'd share this with you because I know a lot of people uh, don't have access to a VW machine shop. I don't, and that's why I had to do this. Uh, actually, I had a set of bearings cut. The one that's in there now is a damaged bearing. Uh, I sent my block off. I had it opened up for 94s. I had them cut me a bearing, and the bearings got damaged uh, in shipment on the way back somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. When I got them back, all the bearings were damaged. They were all, you know, kind of egg-shaped, oblong. Uh, so, they're no good anymore. And I wasn't about to ship my block back to have the bearing cut. Uh, so, you know, this is what I had to come up with. It worked out great. And I just thought I would share this with everybody because I know there's going to be some people that's going to run into this uh, the same way I did. And uh, I hope this helps you out.